please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Text formatting in HTML is a crucial aspect of web development, allowing you to create visually appealing and well organized content. While there are various ways to format text in HTML, Python developers may find the textile markup language an interesting alternative. Textile provides a concise and readable syntax for text formatting, making it easier to generate HTML content dynamically. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use Textile in Python to safely format HTML text. We'll cover the basics of Textile syntax and demonstrate how to integrate it into your Python projects. Textile is a lightweight markup language that simplifies the process of formatting plain text into HTML. It was designed to be human readable and easy to learn. Textile allows you to focus on content without being overwhelmed by HTML tags. Before we begin, you'll need to install the Textile library for Python. You can do this using the following pip command. Textile uses a straightforward syntax for text formatting. Here are some basic examples. Headings. Paragraphs. Bold and italics. Lists. Links. Now that we have Textile installed and understand the basics of its syntax, let's see how we can use it in a Python script. Save this script as, for example, Textile underscore example dot py and run it using. This script defines a textile formatted string, converts it to HTML using the textile dot textile function, and then prints the HTML output. You can modify the textile underscore string variable to experiment with different textile markup. Textile provides a clean and readable way to format HTML text in Python. By incorporating Textile into your projects, you can streamline the process of generating HTML content and focus more on the actual text and its structure. Experiment with Textile syntax to discover additional formatting options and enhance the presentation of your web content. ChatGPT